big, powerful man. Get through those tackles. Nice night for footy. A bit of wet weather around the crowd. With plenty of energy through the early stages. And the Bombers want to silence them. Right here with the first goal through Merritt. And the Bombers by three in the early stages. Saad back in this week. Of course, Hurley as well returning after a month absence. Here's Shield to the one-on-one. -on -one. Big contest this. Stringer and Hamling. Stringer wants it on the ground. Hamling goes to ground. Stringer can just about go by himself. Blakely leaves his man. Handball over the top. Fantasia in on goal. They'll walk it through. Brown will finish it off. The Bombers with the first two. Langdon sends a high one forward. Again, that mismatch in size. And Hurley's going to outmark almost every time. The way it's set up, it's going to be Hurley or Francis intercepting those high balls. And now out of defence, Kenna and Saad. They can create pretty, plenty of burst. Brayshaw giving a big chase. Saad driving it long. Stringer! What's well, the intercept mark again? Great defence turned into attack. And Jake Stringer having a big say on this first quarter. The Bobbers have kicked the first three. Umpire will keep it close oh, on that one. Tandelins. Bringing it down. Walters, that's just a clear bump into the back of Parrish. And advantage will be paid. The Bombers are claiming it. Ball had gone through the goals, but it will come back. Darcy Parrish this season. This last week with concussion. Another handy inclusion for Essendon. And they're having a big impact in this first quarter. And they've come out with a big response in the first quarter. After last week, they lead it by 15. Will trying to find Brayshaw. Shield lost it. Found it again. Slipping and sliding, but got it to Clark, who sends it. High inside 50, two Dockers spoil each other. McKernan with strength, releasing Tip and Woody into space with a snap and the goal! A great finish, and the Bombers on fire in the first turn. So they've got a mismatch now. They've got to maximise that from a Fremantle point of view. Sandilands trying to thump it. Walters over the top. He's got it pinned underneath him. Parrish just stripped it. Langford. Ambrose, great kick to an awkward spot. McKernan, strong hands. What a great pair of hands. After cropping a knock, but happy to take his place in the side. He steps up, slams through the goal, and the Bombers get one back. Shield, just a dump kick out of defence. Bounce, crucial here. Demand to Chera, to Hill. Chips in short, but no target there. They're out the Bombers. Zark quick, swallows it. And it's spotted. And it's Merritt. On the counter. Well, they've been so effective through the match. They go back through the corridor to Langford. The run continues from McKenna. The driving ball. They are out the back, the Bombers. And Fantasia will run it into the goal square and bang it up into the second tier. Whatever. Let's hope it gets down there if you're a Fremantle supporter. David Mundy in the ruck there against Langford. Brayshaw got it straight up to Shield on the burst, surging to the 50. The kick wayward. Here's a one on one Stringer and Hamling. And two Bulldogs Premiership teammates. And Hamling's just dump kick out of defence. Lands oh. Brown. Was it knocked out of his hands? It will be 50. It's going to be a big price to pay. Brad Hill knocking the ball out of the hands of Brown. I don't think he meant to, but it's 50 metres every day of the week. But the, their major issue right now is Fremantle getting the ball cleanly out of their D50. Haven't kicked one in the last couple of weeks, Mitch Brown. He's now got two, and the Bombers break out to a handy lead. So he's had five since quarter time. Had nine in the first quarter, really influential with a clamp down on him. That turnover here. Bombers win it back. Gleeson. Heppel touched off the boot, so I'll have to go. Ham, handball away. McGrath off balance to the goal line. Oh. Stringer, did he mark it in play? He did. Right on the line, steps around and snaps the goal. Redmond, Parrish, Shield. Oh, Swikowski was closing quickly. It affected the kick. Demand attacking it. Heppel 
Parrish clean. Look out, Ham. He was tackled but got rid of it. Now Brown. The counter-attack punch coming from Essendon. Langford with some time. Closing quickly was Hill. Back again to Shield. Lowers the eyes and picks out a target in Merritt. What a great kick that was coming in. Oh. They should have had a goal a few moments ago, the Bombers. And they've got it now. Merritt steps up. And that's an important one. Settle the troops to stop this rebound in and out of your, your defensive 50. Five minutes before three-quarter time. And the Bombers continue to charge. Darcy spiked it away. Straight to Shield. In on goal. What a finish. Dylan Shield. To run some time off the clock. Out of the middle, Fremantle have been dominant. Monday almost, but it spills the Bombers' way. Now it's Essendon who need a goal. Just to stop the Dockers' charge, Brown away. Langford, he could hit one right here. He steadies and buries it. A momentum killer. A huge goal for Essendon. 23 disposals, five tackles, none more important than that one. Back in the middle. Good nine minutes to go. The margin 25, here's Redmond taking them on, showing dash, and they're going for the kill now, the Bombers shield to Langford, and he could kick a couple in this last quarter. And Kyle Langford. Fremantle were charging. They were creeping their way back into it, until Langford steps up in the final term with two crucial goals. Five or six weeks. It's a guessing game, really. Clark's hit out. Back to Mundy. He had options to get rid of it, so he's holding the ball. It does seem as though there's... Takes his time. Sends it forward. He carries through. And the Bombers' job is done. And it was an impressive turnaround from the under-the-pump Bombers. A spirited performance means September is secure. Essendon to play finals in 2019.